Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, my name is Brenton and I'm an alcoholic. And I've been asked to share for a few minutes today on the topic, why do we need complete abstinence from alcohol? And for me, the, the easiest way to explain why I need complete abstinence from alcohol is to, to share a little, of my, little bit of my experience before getting sober. In the early days of my drinking career, I, uh, I would have told you that I, I wanted to get drunk every time that I went out and drank. And to be honest, I, I believed that. And it's what happened for me was that basically every time that I, I would go out with friends or something like that, I would be the one who would be blackout drunk and have to be taken care of. Um, because I would start drinking and then, and then something would kind of shift inside me and any kind of sane decision or any kind of smart decision around stopping at some point just would go out the window. And so the way my friends drank was, was different to the way that I drank and they would be able to have a few drinks or have quite a few and still at some point in the night make this decision that they'd had enough. And for me, I don't have that ability, ability seemingly. And so I, I start and I, I don't stop until either I, uh, I run out, <clears throat> it's taken away from me, or I, um, or I pass out. And for a majority of my, my drinking, that was exactly how it was. And so it's, I would go out with the intention of, of having a couple and, uh, and very quickly that intention would fade away. I, I would forget the promises that I'd made or I'd forget the commitments that I had the next day or later on that, that evening and and I would end up drunk once again. And for the first part of my drinking, that wasn't a, a huge problem because of um, because the consequences to that weren't overly severe. But the older I got and the longer I drank, the more I, the more those consequences built up. Now, the worse things got, the longer it went on. So I, I got sober when I was 28, and the last year of my drinking was me trying to uh, trying to control the way that I drank, trying to control how much I drank. And so I would try all different manner of experiments, you know, whether or not it was limiting the amount that I had in the house or whether or not it was... Um, buying a, a case of beer and promising myself that I would space that over the next two weeks only to wake up the next morning uh, with an empty case of beer and a hell of a hangover. And see, that's that's basically what happens for me. I, I have the intention of having a couple and I can't stick to that. Uh, what I didn't realise before I got sober was that I have a different reaction to, to alcohol than what a so-called normal or social drinker does. Most people can, can have a drink and make a decision to stop once they've started, but for me, I, I can't. I, I have that first drink and I'm off and running. And there is very little that can be done at that point by me or by anyone else to stop me. And so... I'm sitting at about five years sober now, just over, and I can guarantee you that my reaction would be exactly the same. Uh, if I was to pick up a drink today and start drinking again, it would very quickly go out of control um, because that, that reaction to alcohol doesn't shift, it doesn't change. And so I need abstinence today because there is no way that I can drink safely. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.